Young Architect Conference 2019 is two weeks away. It's two weeks away. It may be less when you're watching this. But yeah, it's happening, man. It's been uh, a wild freaking ride. It's been, even though the conference hasn't happened, I feel like it's been a hell of an experience so far. Uh, so we're having a conference for the next generation architects. And, you know, really what's happened is I, I have been to more... I don't know anyone else that's been to more architecture conferences than I have. Maybe a product rep or someone, but I, I go to a lot of architecture conferences and I've learned that the really architecture conferences aren't for young people at all. It's really for like the previous generation architects and product reps. It's, it's really turned into, I feel like architecture conferences are really product rep conferences disguised as architecture conferences so all the product reps can sell, sell, sell their products to architects and get them to specify their products. And so after going to so many f stupid architecture conferences with all these old white men and product reps, I said, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we had an architecture conference for the next generation of architects? And that was actually like fun that like people wanted to go to. And we talked about like, you know, creating a stronger profession and professional development for the young people in the profession. And they really honed in on the future of architecture rather than products or CEUs. That's another thing is like continuing education units are really the only reason to go to architecture conferences. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a licensed architect and getting my continuing education units done every single year, it's not a big freaking deal. Like I just banged out a bunch of them the other day online at the Hanley Institute and I did a bunch of my HSW continuing education units so I can get them done. It's like, I don't know, a couple of hours of my year that I just do and, and I enjoy it because it's I'm learning about stuff. So why do we have to have our conferences all about continuing education units? I'll be honest with you, people who aren't licensed don't even care about CEUs, so what's the big deal? So we're having a Young Architect conference, and so I, one of the things that's also been really important to me is I wanna have a conference by the community for the community. And what I know about a lot of the bigger conferences out there, they're put on by conference companies. And a lot of, the, even like the community itself doesn't really have much say in how the conference goes because it's been put on from another organization, like a company, like a corporation's putting on the conferences. So I said, I wanna have complete control, a conference for the community, by the community. And rather than hearing like keynote speakers from movie stars or star architects, let's hear from young, young successful people in the profession. And so we're having a three-day conference. We're gonna have um, keynotes in the morning, workshops in the afternoon, and parties at night. And so for the past, I don't know, like year, year and a half, I've been working with a committee. I hired a, con I've never hosted a conference before, and so I hired a guy that hosts conferences for a living. He's a conference producer. And I've been working with him and his team and my team, and we're getting really close, and this thing's happening, and we gotta, and right now I'm kind of at the, fi the final points where we're dialing all, I'm, I'm working on my keynote and my, my speaking points and my introductions and all the stuff. And so it's getting ready to happen. And so one of the biggest things that I am most excited about is I feel like the conference works in two parts. The first part is the infrastructure of the conference. It's the keynote speakers, it's the workshops, it's the venues, it's the catering, it's the parties, it's all that stuff. That's the first part, the infrastructure. But what I'm most excited about, and this is something that you can't plan for, is it's bringing all of these people together. It's bringing the community of people together and getting all of the, the people who are attending this conference at the same place at the same time and getting them talking to each other. I've got a really magical group of people who are showing up for the Young Architect Conference. I got people flying in from all over the United States. So far, we're gonna, this is gonna be like a 200 person conference. And as crazy as it sounds, even though we're doing this conference in Portland, Oregon, I wanna say the bulk of the people coming to the Young Architect Conference are not from Portland, Oregon. They're flying in from all over the United States. I got a lot of people coming from New York. I got some people coming from Puerto Rico. I got people from a lot, bunch of people from Texas and Florida and all these different places. And as I'm seeing the signups roll in, it's a lot, I got a lot of boot campers coming. It's a lot of people I know. It just gets me really excited that, oh yes, this person's coming to the conference. I can't wait to have them a part of the community and interacting with everyone. And I'll be honest with you, the type of people signing up for this conference are really, it's really a bunch of go-getters. It's a huge, this is an investment. Showing up for this conference, you gotta buy the ticket, the flight, the hotel, and all this stuff. And so the people who are willing to make that investment, 
you know, in some ways I feel like are the people that understand the value of a conference and, you know, going after what they really want in their professions. You know, one of the things someone said to me, they said that, they said, Mike, I want to come to your conference and I want to meet people who are really serious about their careers and really are, are willing to do the work, the hard work it takes to, to make their shit happen and take it to the next level. And I said, all these people who are coming to the Arctic Conference are, you know, willing to make this investment and are, are serious about this shit. So I'm just super pumped. It's going to be an amazing event. We got a lot of great stuff planned. But even what I'm most excited about is the stuff that you can't plan. It's the, it's the synergy. It's the energy of what happens when you bring an amazing group of people together and we have fun. We have a good time with each other and we build stronger relationships and we get to know each other. And that, in some ways, that's really hard to convey, that essence of what the, the energy is, is. I've been visiting all the architecture firms in Portland and they're, you know, they look at the Young Architect Conference and they say, what's the return on my investment on this making, deciding if I'm gonna send some young people? And, you know, my answer is, is I got all, you know, I got the infrastructure set up, but, you know, the fun, this is gonna be fun. And this is you telling your employees that you want to support them and, um, with their with their future careers and it's just a it's an amazing event and so just kind of rambling a little bit but yeah i'm pumped i'm super pumped to, to get this young architect conference up and running and we're definitely doing it again next year we're already talking about what the ste next steps are for young architect conference 2020 and i want this to be like the go-to conference of the year the people who are not here in 2019 you are missing out you got to be you got to join us in 2020 we're gonna have a lot of fun